afternoon, everyone. It's good to see everyone now. Welcome to another episode, exciting episode of Youth Fluential with our live podcast. We're super excited about our topic today. We've got some things that we want to tell you that I believe will really be an inspirational help to all that hear and listen and apply. We got some great, great verses that we want to look at today and we want to apply them to our walk with the Lord. Today's topic is going to be ideas, aspects on internet addiction. Is that a real thing? Internet addiction. What is it? I like to say, here's here's a couple things to think about what internet addiction. Obviously, it's self-explanatory. It's an addiction. That means something that controls us. And going on the internet means using different things about the internet. What are different things about the internet? Number one, social media. Uh, number two, going on the internet to looking for things that are harmful to our lives. Uh, For instance, could be like pornography, uh, things that come into our lives that can influence us to think improper. And so opening up our mind and our heart, so to speak, Jesus said, what is abundant upon the heart proceedeth out of the mouth. What does that mean? That means if you put it in your mind, it's going to affect your lifestyle. The word mouth means your conversation and your character and so the the word heart is one of the areas of our minds and so our heart is our innermost being okay it's not like something you could take and put underneath the microscope but you know when we think about our hearts it's made up of our intellect it's made up of our will it's made up of our emotions it's made up of our spirit And when you put all these things together, there's an innermost being of that where Jesus said he wants to save our souls. And this is our heart. Some people have a real hard time with that idea of heart because they think that we shouldn't explain to people inviting Jesus into your heart. They think a little man comes inside your heart. Yeah, yeah. uh, it's, it's, It's great that you said that, Tony, you know. Uh, internet is very important in every day to day life now. Oh yeah. Everybody. So absolutely. Um, we some people focus on that. You know, everything we do now is, you know, social media or on the internet. So um, this is a great topic today, uh, Colin. I think we have a lot to say here that, that can help people out. It's a real thing. Yeah. And some people say I don't have an addiction to internet. Well let's go over some of these signs and see. Mm-hmm. And uh, so internet addiction, what is it? It's spending harmful time on the internet and having a compulsive behavior that is not in our direct control. You know, there's there's some science about uh, addictions and one science is behavioral science and we have dopamine in our minds which is a chemical that makes our body feel relaxed. We have other chemicals in our body that um, you know, they have a pain relieving uh, chemicals in our body. Um, that's why we take certain pain relievers and narcotics can affect our minds, which affects our, our bodies. So we have dopamine, we have um, different chemicals that can affect us. And when we go on the internet, some people have a reaction with their minds releasing different chemicals to make them feel yeah. comfortable. Yeah, yeah. And when your body has to have a internet connection to make you feel comfortable, that's a sign of addiction. Yeah. Um, we, we're talking about that here today, but, you know, we all here use the internet. You know, we use our phones. 
Um, one of the things, you no, know, internet can be a good thing, but these addiction we're talking about today is very uh, uh, real in everybody's lives, you know, people's lives. So, um, especially the teens. Oh, yeah. Um, man, I, well, that's I, what we want to talk about, number one. Yeah. So, go ahead, Tony. Well, here's, here's our first sign. You figure out if you think this is for real in your life. Here's our first sign. You check social media during the day. Yeah. Okay. I think checking social media during the day is important, mm -hmm. can be good. Obviously, our work mm -hmm. oftentimes is connected to that platform. But if we're checking it to have a response to that, of saying whether people like us to make us feel good. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that behavioral idea coming in. Mm -hmm. Then that is a sign of possible addiction. Now, addictions have intro stages, entry level stages of mm -hmm. addiction. Right. Mm -hmm. You have patterns of developing a mature addiction yeah, we, I mean, and then you just have out of control addiction yeah we can talk about teens but some of the things i'm starting to do now is when i go home after work when i go home um you know i usually check my email check this and that or check social media what's going on now you know you know get my kids you know bath or feeding my kids i put the phone away during the dinner table that's Boom. nice everything's done then I go back to the phone and check my emails right. and stuff because it can get distracting. I figure when I started doing that, I think it helped me a little bit step back. If you can do that, yeah, then you know it doesn't have a control on you. Yeah. Right. So what Tony's saying pretty much is that so. we can, you know, let this become as a, a, an addiction. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, mostly an addiction where you feel like you can't live without mm -hmm. constantly yeah. being on the internet. It's okay to you know to have an internet to check your internet. Yeah. You know, but when it seems like it's a, I mean, a minute can't pass. Yeah. You know, yeah. if you you know you're 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 in school and yeah. you know you're under the desk and you're 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 trying to surf the internet. Well, hey, it's ha it's happening class. and it's real. Yeah, yeah. you're yeah. trying to you're trying to do it while oh, you in church wherever. Well, well you we, know? we put in a we put in a rule uh, at the school now. Uh, we take the kids' phone and give it to the homeroom teachers because before. No phones, but some of them will bring their phones and you know sneak in the bathroom or sneak you know sneak it yeah. over the table. But this is what I fig this is what I found out by doing that. I think it was a good thing that Jonathan put in because by doing that, guess what? A lot of the kids interact with each other now. They yes. talk sure. and they're actually talking to me now instead of like on their phone all the time. So it is it can be an addiction, but what we're talking about. If, Guys, there's a lot of things you can be addicted to. Right. Right? But <laughs> the phone offer, for example, when we have practices, I post videos and see it. People see what, you know, what the kids doing. People go and comment on there. I post things for other people to see. Because I can't go on the internet, uh, on Facebook, and write message to all my friends yeah. that I have. I put something on it so they can see my day-to-day, -day, like my kids or something, or um, sports or something, so they can see what's going on in my life. But if I, look. If I take the phone, right, and driving, just think about it. If you get addicted, it can affect your driving, it can affect your family life, it can even affect your work. You know, the COVID has allowed people to say, I have to respond virtually on a computer. Right. And so the, the culture has actually encouraged people to say, stay connected, internet. Yes, yes. And so we are actually, our culture is teaching us yeah. to overdo it. Right, right. So then we have to understand if my culture is teaching me to, to be strong on virtual, mm -hmm. then how do I make sure that I'm not receiving dopamine signals, behavioral signals of, of satisfaction, of happiness because I check my social media? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you have, to, you have to learn when to walk away sometimes and mm -hmm. give yourself, just like anything else. Sure. You know, if you work seven days or even during your work days, you have a break period. Yeah. Where you have to break. Whatever we do, we have a break period. Yeah. And the the internet I mean when people get addicted to it, it's mm -hmm. like there's no break. Mm -hmm. I mean constantly you sleep at night, you wake up, you reach for it. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. You're you're having dinner. No, you can't go to the restaurant sometimes and have mm -hmm. dinner with mm -hmm. the young folks. Yeah. Because they're always online. Mm 
Okay, so we have a couple things that's teaching them about it. The Apple Watch. Yeah. All right, so we have other watches that can be connected internet-wise, too. Speaking but of why, you uh, got a beautiful one. Yeah, too. well, I, I had a good friend of mine, Coach Pat Genyu, who ah. sold that to me. <laughs> so here's the thing. If I'm giving my phone to the teacher yeah. and it's on, I can get all my signals with my watch. Oh, that's, yeah, I, I didn't think about that. So yeah. what do you think? You need to tell the teachers, uh, turn not only collect... But turn them all. <laughs> turn them all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, man, it, it's tough with today's society, especially that the the way the kids, are, you know, brought up with social media, it's tough. But like you said, they have to walk away. People, I people can't even have normal conversation anymore. If I'm sitting there, why am I texting you through the phone? Mm -hmm. All right, that's what they do. Why am I yeah. texting you if you're five feet away from me? Why can't I tell people don't know how to have normal conversation? Mm -hmm. People is not people person anymore. It's taking away your social skills. Social skills. Yeah, yeah, it's gone. So it diminishes them. Exactly. Yeah. So how do you, like Tony, like uh, Colin said, you have to take a break at some point. Mm -hmm. Like for me, you know me, Tony. I love the spotlight sometimes, but sometimes like if I post a video or something, like in the morning I refresh. It's my time. No yeah. kids. Yeah. I post a video out there. Yeah, people, I know. I saw, I'm watching. Yeah, yeah people. See that? Yeah, that's great. But I can't do that every single minute. I'm posting a video every. Sure. I see some people do it every single minute. Sure. Or hour. No. Okay. So now they have these ear pods in, right? Yeah. And you think they're just maybe for listening to music, you know? Mm -hmm. But actually, they're staying in contact with anything that's verbally communicating them mm -hmm. through the phone. Mm -hmm. And you know, not only is it phone calls, but you know, they can have text messages uh, communicated to yeah, them verbally. Yeah, read it to you. I didn't know that when yeah. I got them. Oh, yeah. It said, honey says. I was like, whoa, <laughs> my ear pod's talking to me, but. So, I use a ear pod. I only put one in. Why? Because oh, wow. I want to have one for normality. Oh, that's why you did that at the <laughs> gym. No, I my son that. lost that one. Oh, okay. So yeah, I have that's a... smart. Then. That's smart with somebody. Yeah, that's what I do. I always keep just one in. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. I have to know what's going on around yeah. me. Right. All right. Yeah. Here's a sign. Mm -hmm. Um... First thing you do in the morning is check social media. Well, you know what? If you are checking it and you feel like that's a positive thing in your life and in other people's lives, mm -hmm. a lot of Christians I check, you know, give me updates on their ministry yeah. or, or people's lives. I'm praying for them. But if I'm responding to my social media and it affects me, it's, it's like, oh, and so and so, and we and they describe a person's you know lifestyle and they're like. Mocking it, laughing at it, or maybe, you know, they feel like, oh, yeah, I put this person down. Or maybe they're feeling good. Oh, that person likes me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got 18 likes. You know, I I now feel stronger because mm -hmm. somebody liked my picture, you know? Yeah. Oh, that's very true, Tony. But you know what? I have figured now, first thing in the morning, I got a Bible app as a verse of the day. Sure. I try to go to that first before and I, anything. And that's what wake me up in the morning. Yeah. Bible, my Bible app that gives me a scripture for the day. It helped me out. You know, to start your day. Yeah. You know, because you always want to start your day. Before I used to pick it up and be like, yeah. hey, what is Facebook saying? What is Instagram saying? What is Snapchat? Now it's like, oh, Lord, what are you trying to teach me today? Okay. All right. Then I'm like, okay, I can check my email. I can do this. I can do this. So. Well, you know, if you check in, that's good. But if you're saying I got to check in, and then you come back 20 minutes later to check in, and then you come back <laughs> every five minutes to check in, you, you know what? Work. There may be a problem going on. Yeah. All right. How about this social one? It's going to get a little bit more personal. If you're listening, seven signs of internet addiction. You are anxious when you cannot check your social media. Mm. Mm. You take away their phones, man. I bet those kids are anxious. Oh man, they're. Well, the first thing I notice is. I'm not um, talking about anxious like I'm a little upset. I'm talking like. Really agitated. Well, some of some of them don't know how to act, um, but it's good for them, you know. Uh, I had one person said to me, "Man, I can't live without my phone." I said, "Wow." So you're saying you can't live with? Yeah, I can't live without my. I got things to do. I got people to text. I got this and that. So it it was it was crazy that we're talking about this because a few years ago we had a kid. His parent had to turn the internet off for him to eat. It was too to dismantle the video game, Jeez. right? How to turn the internet off. This is how bad it is now. So uh, it's... <laughs> so, but, but just like you said, someone said, I can't live without the internet. Yeah. And we want to make that clear. The only thing you can't live without is Jesus it's Christ. Jesus Christ. 
Okay. Boom. Let's, 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 let's make Colin, Colin brought it in. Boom. Put okay. it right there. The only thing you can't live without is Jesus Christ. Hey. If we responded to Jesus Christ like we respond to our social media. Listen. Oh, man. Oh, we'll be on a spirit of cloud. We'll be reaching the world. We'll be telling everybody about Christ. But you know what? Teen struggle. No, I'm talking about school, but I'm talking about my personal life. Myself, I had to come to a re realization and said, listen, um, you know, there's more out there. And that's why I play indoor soccer. Try to take my mind off. The Sports focus. is extremely healthy. Yes, that's why I love going to practices. I love, you know, on the weekend, once in a while, we get together and work out. Sure. Those things take your mind. It, it yeah, well, well, yeah, well, these are some of the things yeah. that could take your mind away from just, if you, if you have time on hand, mm -hmm. you know, that's when you're going to, you know, figure out, I'm going to put it all in this. Mm -hmm. Sure. And people put all their time now. So keep busy. In social media, whether you're posting, you don't want somebody to like what you post. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And well, it affects their mood. Yeah. So you know, and 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 like you said, it's going to affect your mood because mm -hmm. you're going to post something that somebody's going to say, ah, I don't like that, mm -hmm. and now your mood is gone. If you're agitated, you got an addiction problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If your mood is, I'm encouraged. Yeah. You got an addiction problem. Like uh, <laughs> I'm gonna give her a sample. I post uh something, you know, messing around. Somebody took a video of me shooting the gym. I think. Yeah. Um, basketball or I post uh, an indoor soccer that I was playing in and somebody sure. said man coach you're getting kind of old I said man I'm just doing this for fun now somebody would have taken that why would you say that did sure. you see what I just did did you see the shots that I'm making uh -huh. stuff like that? yeah I watched the post yeah you hit like seven uh, three throws in a row oh, that's three, three pointers in a row but, but let's it was it, actually amazing yeah but but let's put it this way yeah all right I was having fun when somebody captured well that's what it's supposed to be it's supposed to be fun right yes capture it now people are. Com I saw a lot of comments coming. Yeah. People were saying, "Oh, coach, you love in the edge. You're getting old. That's an old man shot." I yeah. said, "I was having fun with it. I was like, that's great. I was like, yeah, this old man shot. I said, yeah, days are gone, but I'm old man I, shot. My, yeah, I said my days are gone, but my forms are still right. You know, stuff like that. I cannot be an old man shot. Yeah. Well, you know, people. But right. I didn't cry about it. Right. I didn't run around and say, you know, I'm gonna post another video and show you. No. Yeah. So, like you said, Tony, addiction, yeah. if you're getting mad, that can take away a lot of your fun, your joy away. Yes. Tony, what about someone that's sitting there in, maybe in class and they start thinking, what's the next thing I'm going to post? Well, that's the next one. Uh -huh. You spend a lot of time overthinking and planning your post. Yeah. That's the <laughs> next sign. Yeah, you're, oh, you're, you're man. sitting there saying, that is, you know what, I need, I need to post something else. Yeah. Why you should be paying attention in class. Sure. You know, maybe, you, you know, you got an assignment to take care of, <laughs> yeah. but your mind is not on the assignment. Yeah. It's about what Have you ever called. seen these posts when people bring the phone close to them and like this? Yeah. And, you know, filters, all that, they don't really look like that. They want people to see, you know, post them filter or bring the phone like this. So, it's, don't get me wrong, what we're talking about, all those things are fun, but it can be your day-to-day -day life. Yeah. We can't get you be. wrong. We can't get you wrong on this because we are using it. Right. It, it can't be your, your whole being, you know, why you're, you're this. Yeah. Yeah. Remember I told you in the lot, uh, uh, a long time ago on the podcast here, you should have asked yourself a question, Colin. Mm -hmm. What are you on this earth for? To glorify God, yeah, one yeah. thing, yeah. right? Yeah, glorify God. Save God give soul. God give her the internet, the phone, those things to use it as yeah. a tool. So, okay, here's one. This is uh, this is crazy. All right, mm. yeah, Tony, you yeah, think crazy thing. you <laughs> hear your phone buzz? Here's a, another sign. You think you hear your phone buzz when really it didn't. Man, say so start playing mind games. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, you mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, and sometimes our body creates a pattern of receiving signals that we're not getting, but we think we're getting. Yeah. And check this out. You are craving the little dopamine hit you get from phone notifications so badly that your mind has imagined one. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's powerful, man. The mind is a powerful thing, isn't it? What do you think about? What do you do throughout well, the day? Well, we teach it. Yeah, but the phone can take your minds away. <laughs> the thinking. Remember what I said, the example that I gave for school? The kids now are talking to, to each, each other. other. Tony, before they didn't used to do it. Have, have, have you been on public transportation? Yeah, and everybody's on the phone. 
You they know, don't want to talk to people. And <laughs> nobody talks to anybody anymore. Yeah. Everybody had to they just write down in their phone. Yeah. And just doing their own thing. I mean, there could be fire on the bus and yeah. you know, you just, <laughs> <laughs> and you're just down there, you know. And, sure. and 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 in today's world, man, you you gotta know what's going on around yeah. you. You gotta be aware of what's going on around right, you. Right, right, right. You know? You do. But the phone and the internet just take away. Yeah. You know. So Here's one similar to what you're saying there, Colin. You're almost like prophesying everything in what we're saying here. You <laughs> yeah. neglect your own hobbies in favor of scrolling. These people on the bus are scrolling. Yeah. And then they don't, they're not watching where they're walking. Listen, I've seen in, uh, in WhatsApp the other day a woman walk into a, a backhoe, that big tractor looking stuff. He was backing up and she was on her phone walking and just right into it, man. Man. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, people. This thing's hurt. Yeah, listen, I, I, I think I don't, I don't know if she died, man, but it was crazy. Yeah. To watch somebody walk across the street, she even walk across the street without looking. So, wow. Some yes. people think they're gonna collect money because of that. So I did something. I did a. Uh, they can little survive. Thing I talk about the other. I said I told the kids, wouldn't it be cool if we just leave our phones, everything else, and go camping? You know, know, and just leave everything. Well, when you well, go well, out you camping, what, what, even if you take your phone, you don't get a good reception. Right. Either. You know what one of the kids said? I couldn't survive. I was like, why not? We're going to have the trail the wall. We're going to have this. We're going to have that. No. And, and, and people, there's a lot of, I mean, we're talking about internet addiction, but there are so many little addictions out there where you mm -hmm. got to be aware of. Well, know? that's like and, that entry level addiction yeah. and matured addiction. Because even coffee. And then out of control I addiction. I drink coffee I look at it as time. three stages. And I, and I feel like I have a, 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 a coffee yeah, you know, you know, addiction. But then when I feel like I'm going too much, mm -hmm. I have to take a break. I take a break to say, you know what, this coffee don't control me. Mm -hmm. You know, so, yeah. Okay, so you're saying we can control the the cyber, you know, the uh, internet. The internet, the internet the, 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 can control you, yeah. but you, or you can control, control it. Okay. And if you can't get off of it, yeah. If you're receiving dopamine in, in, uh impulses mm -hmm. if you are agitated frustrated anxious if you are to a point where you can't function correctly because you can't check your social media you can't look at a screen mm -hmm. you have a screen addiction mm -hmm. i think a screen addiction is better and people people don't watch ball sit down and watch ball game anyone they got to watch the ball game with the phone too as well yeah and like that yes dude, and you're, not, you're not even watching the game yeah and you're, <laughs> and you're not you know you're you're not coming together with people anymore, having a conversation. Engaging. You know, yeah. so when, once it starts taking you away, mm -hmm. you know, from being around people, having conversation, then you gotta be, you know, you, you, you know, this is a time when you gotta be careful. If you feel like you have it, yeah, or you've seen somebody have it, listen, they should go through a digital detox. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's where we're at on yeah. this page, guys, Pat. Yeah. Pat, digital mm -hmm. detox. Yeah. So, each mm -hmm. time you open the apps, ask yourself why, and what will you get out of it? At the beginning, it may feel like you're having to be strict to yourself, but, but with practice, mm -hmm. this mindfulness will come with a realization that you have better ways to spend your time. Okay, social media is a fantastic yeah. tool mm -hmm. and a great way to connect, but it can take its toll on us like anything. It should be enjoyed in moderation. Mm -hmm. Verse out. Think about it, it's Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who's trained. My life verse. Okay. All right. You can do it. All right. Sure. Through Christ. You can defeat the internet through Christ. Yeah. All right. You can defeat that. Yeah. And, and, and St. Philippians 4 mm -hmm. and from chapter 4 through um, <clears throat> through 6, it said, Rejoice in the Lord always. Mm -hmm. And again, I say rejoice in the Lord. Let your mod moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. So mm -hmm. he, he's always there for you. So be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto God. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So whatever addiction you have, whatever you're going through and you think you can't help it, let your requests be known unto God. Yeah, that's what we got to do. And you know, we all have this request of asking God to help us. Yeah. Here's my scripture verse. We got Philippians 4.13. We got Philippians 4.4. 4. Mine, second, 1 Corinthians 6.19, where the Apostle Paul wrote to the church of Corinth, with the, and he started off this verse in 19, and he said, what? With an explanation point question mark. What? Because 
he was surprised, almost offended, to the point that the Corinthians were so ignorant that they didn't know that their bodies belonged to the Lord. Mm -hmm. What? He said, Know ye not that your body mm. is the temple of the Holy Spirit. We are God's temple and God comes and dwells within us. It says, Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit which is in you. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Listen, if you're listening on Facebook, leave a comment. If you're listening on YouTube, leave a comment. But glorify God in your body. And if you're letting social media, internet addiction to control your body, God's not being glorified. Yeah. If you're a believer today of saying you trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, that's a sin. It's a sin to have an inappropriate response to social media. There's a sin right there. Mm -hmm. You may say, Tony, you got to be crazy. It's a sin? Yes. Internet uh, abuse is a sin. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to look at five types of internet addiction. Number one, cyber sex addiction. Mm -hmm. Cyber sex addiction is one of the more self-explanatory internet addictions. Mm -hmm. Obviously, pornography, adult websites, sexual fantasy, chat rooms, triple X webcams, services, among other. An obsession with any of these services can be harmful to one's ability to form real-world sexual, romantic, intimate relationships. It's not even an obsession. It's even a uh, dabbling or an introduction to it. Yeah, gambling. <laughs> and so, cyber sex addiction is a multi, multi billion dollar industry. Mm. And it's taking the world to hell in a handbasket. Mm -hmm. And people think that there's nothing wrong with it. Psychiatrists, secular counselors are saying there's nothing wrong with it. And it will damage your mind to where you cannot understand normal responses in, in decision making in this world. Yeah. It will affect your relationships. If you're doing it before marriage, listen, your marriage is going to take a suffering toll mm -hmm. in intimate relationships because of the damaging information that comes into the mind. The very first thing we talked about is Jesus said, what is abundant upon the heart proceedeth out of the mouth. Hey, net compulsions, what is that? That's gambling online. Who? Oh, that's huge. Mm -hmm. It's now a multi-billion industry all throughout the country of the United mm -hmm. States and the world. The TV is advertising. It's just like being in Las Vegas. You see, you and they're addicted to their phones, and they're losing their life savings over it. Yeah, one, one of my buddy called me during the Super Bowl. He's like, no, during the, you know, the playoff. He said, look, the internet had Buffalo Bill winning the Super Bowl. He said, man, I just dropped a huge amount of money. You want to do that? I said, no, sir. <laughs> I said, man, you are being played, and the internet is controlling you. Because I said, look. And then when Buffalo lost, I was like, you see that? First of all, so, I, when I think of internet gambling, Pat, yeah. that's controlled by a computer. Yeah. 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 A computer is a program yeah. created by man. It's not a dice that you drop on the table that bounces, and it's yeah. not a ball that goes around a roulette table by the force of gravity. Yeah. It's man's programming a number. Yeah, but, um, you know, the Bible said we have to be stewards, too, of what he gave us. They're so, not going to lose their shirt. Right. They're programming that. Right. So, I mean, it's, to me, um, I would tell people, he was like, why well, don't you put, you know, it's birthday, bought it a lot of time. I said, no, I rather and do this, do this, you know, give it to a charity or whatever, if I have more money, you know. But the thing is, gambling, uh. Tony, it's, it's huge now. Because it's easily, you know, it's easy can, access. It's easily, um, I mean, gambling is, easily can become an addiction. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and that's a bad addiction. Gambling, Plus the internet and, condition. I tell you, gambling and the internet and. Uh, to you, double. You, you know, and drinking. So these are stuff that can easily mm -hmm. become an addiction. Mm -hmm. You know, the taste of victory mm -hmm. and, 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 and trying to get back what you have lost. Yeah. 
you know, and you're on a, a, a wild chase. You know, we have this thing in yeah. Pennsylvania. We have this, uh, what is it, woodchuck? That advertises yeah, uh, yeah, the, the, the little lotto. mouse, the little woodchuck thing. Yeah, I've seen it. He commercial. runs around. Have you ever taken a good look at him? Yeah. Uh, no. He barely has any clothes. He lost it all in gambling. <laughs> 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 He's got like one little shirt on. All right, well, cyber online relationships oh, addiction. Man. This one is good. You know, Tinder. What's that all about? Swipe left if you like them, swipe well, right if you don't all, like them. Tony, before you even start. That is so sinful. That, but it is, but. The world we live in today, who in the right mind would want to find a wife on Tinder or a girlfriend on Tinder? Because these days, you don't know. First of all, I don't think they're looking for wives. It's a hookup relationship in our uh, culture. But even that with that, people got to... That's when the internet addiction... Well, people are putting fake about. pictures up. Yeah. And you don't know who you mean. Yeah. I, I have worked with a guy before, and the guy was in this relationship. I was driving to work one morning, and he said, mm -hmm. you know... Me and my girlfriend broke up, and I'm like, "What?" <laughs> and he said, "Yeah." I said, "How long? You, how long you guys been together?" Mm -hmm. So yeah, we've been we've been together about two years, and um, so I said, "Man, that's that's rough." Mm -hmm. And he, um, so I said, um, "You know, she lives with you." He said, "Oh no, she lives in Washington, and we're in Philadelphia." Yeah. And he's told Washington. Me that, I've never seen her before. Oh man! But we're text lovers. Wow. And that was the first, it blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's a set, definite characteristic yeah. of internet addiction. Yeah. Yes. And I said, what? He said, yeah, we, we, we just, we are text lovers. And, Never and that's the first time I heard of that. Yeah. And, I, and that blew my mind. All right, real fast. You Compulsive know. information seeking. Mm -hmm. People are just like digging data on information and they're just thinking that they're just finding this wealth of information and it's making them knowledgeable about stuff that they have absolutely no idea what they're really studying. They believe in these ideas of uh, these uh, strange ideas. You know, the earth is flat. Ah! That's been going on for the last 10 years. But, 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 but it's fueled yeah. by the internet. Yeah, it was, it was Some mad. celebrity, you know, Shaq will promote it. No, it you know, was, LeBron will promote it. Yeah, and next thing you know, everybody believes it. And matter of fact, it was a professional athlete. Kyrie Irving said that. Yeah. They were flat and everybody went crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay? Hey, I'm going to tell you this, man. You can put anything on the internet and people will believe it. They'll say the Holocaust <laughs> never happened. Why? How do you know? I was right. on the internet. Right. <laughs> but... Once again, the internet is a great tool yes. you can use for goodness, but you cannot use it for addiction. Right. Mm. All, right. All right. This one's going to blow everyone's mind. You ready? You are addicted to the internet if you are having a computer addiction or gaming mm. addiction. Oh, let me touch on that one real quick, Tony. Go ahead. Um, I don't have time to play games anymore. Somebody said, oh, man, you want to play? You play PlayStation? No, I don't have time in the day to do that. Most, right. of us, most of us that are athletes, most of the time we're not game players. You right. know? Not, not only that, but we have, you have busy lives. Yeah. Now, I may go to somebody's house and play like one or, you know, one game or something, but I don't have no time anymore. Why? Because I felt like, you know, the gaming system with the kids, the teenager, remember I told you that, that example? His mom had to turn off the internet before he could come and eat. Because he's on that game all day long. And he wouldn't listen to the parents. They had to turn off the internet, Colin. Turn it off. Tony, what is that? So basically, um, kids are not being good athletes or not good. I want to make it in the NBA. But you're spending five or six hours on a video game. But you're not out on the court practicing your craft. Mm -hmm. You understand? So the addiction for game. And there's more games and stuff coming. PlayStation 5. Play how many PlayStation they got? They got one, two, three, or four, five. I don't even know how many they have. So, I mean, it's just a generational culture thing, man, that you they're going to have to break well, through. Well, you know? even though they got to break through, here's a couple questions. Number one, how often do you find that you stay stay online longer than you intended? All right? Oh, I'm going to play a game, what, 15 minutes, half an hour. Next thing you know, you're two hours in. Yeah. How often do others in your life complain to you about the amount of time you spend online? If someone is saying to you, you're on that too long, you got to entry level. Of internet addiction. Entry level. If you abuse that and say, I'm not going to listen to my people in my life that give me adv advice, you're going to go from entry level to, you know, a mature level of addiction.
Yeah. I'm not using the word immature as in good. I'm just talking about advanced level of addiction. Yeah. Yeah. You're getting deeper. Yeah. <laughs> and then if you can't pull away from that game and you think, oh, ideas, I could be a millionaire. I could have done it. Then you're believing a delusion. Mm-hmm. A delusion. Yeah. One out of ten million are going to do it. Why? What? Because, you know, he came through the cracks and won. Yeah, your, your son's not going to go to college and be like, oh, man, I got time to play video games. You got mm-hmm. papers and paper. Do you have that? No, I listen, man. I, I, like, I always tell my kids when they go to college, man, be careful what you do. Yeah. You know, I, you can't get addicted to nothing, man. Mm-hmm. You know, try to stay level and know why you're there. Mm-hmm. You know, because all these other addiction, these games and party and everything like that, it's all distraction. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it's all distraction. So yeah. you can put together a science of how much time you're spending. If well, you feel like playing games, yeah. it's like never. Tony, we're, we're, like I don't play games. Yeah. I have played games, yeah, but, but I don't. But Tony, we're not saying he, sitting here said the kids should not play games at all. No. But have a limit. Right. All right. Set your clock. Alarm. Hey, I'm going to play for an hour. Done. Or I'm gonna play for four to five minutes. If you don't set a time and where happily get off, not drudgingly get right, off. Right, right. But if you don't say, "Oh, I'm gonna sit here and play," I know when when to quit. No, you're not gonna quit, man. So, okay, let's go. We're gonna wrap this up. Here you go. Ready? Effects of an internet addiction. You're gonna have harmful effects on a person, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. You get done and sitting in a gaming chair, my body aches. <laughs> you get carpal tunnel syndrome, that's a big thing in the hospital. Why? Too much time on the internet. Vision problems, a lot of people are wondering why they're getting cataracts and floaters in front of their eyes because they've, they put their face in the middle of a screen for way too many hours. Weight, gain, loss, gain or loss of weight are just some of the physical problems. Man, you have insomnia. So, if you suffer from an internet addiction, emotional effects will include depression, dishonesty, anxiety, social isolation, aggression, and mood swings. These are real things. And you may have to go for help. Mm -hmm. Maybe a rehab, a detox, digital detox. Because if you've got a bad attitude about it, it's going to destroy your life in the long run. Mm -hmm. Here's another area. It could affect you emotionally. It could affect you physically. It can affect you mentally. And make you just a dumb person. You know, I, I want to go... You know, the first thing to do, if you think you're having a struggle with internet addiction, listen, the Lord Jesus can give you great grace and strength. Mm-hmm. And you cannot overcome this addiction unless you have the Lord Jesus in your life. Mm-hmm. And the first thing you need to do is receive the Lord into your life as your personal Lord and Savior. And I want to encourage you here today, if you've never asked the Lord Jesus to be your personal Lord and Savior, Mm -hmm. that I want to encourage you today to call upon the Lord and invite Him, ask Him to come in your life. Ask Him to forgive you of any abusive of any of these areas we looked at. And ask Him to give you a new heart. And ask for the grace of God to come in your life. And tell him in your own words that you believe that Jesus died on the cross, rose again from the grave, Mm -hmm. proving he is God. Mm -hmm. And if you would like to call on him today, I want to encourage you. Call on him. Mm -hmm. Invite him in your life. You could do that right now with your eyes open, your mouth closed, watching this video. And invite the Lord Jesus to be your personal Lord and Savior Amen. right now, right here. If you do that, please hit a like, leave a comment on YouTube. Hit a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. I want to I ask Colin to give us some summary. Revelation 13 is a good verse uh, chapter, Colin. Do you know that chapter where they says they overcome him? They overcame him by the mm-hmm. power of the blood of the Lamb. Yes. And the word of their testimony. Yep. Mm-hmm. Listen, you can... It's, you know, yeah, it's the blood of Christ. You know, we need, there's power in the blood. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, because Christ died for us and his debt set us free. You know, so there's power in the blood of the lamb. Mm-hmm. So, but, you know, we have to know that this internet addiction is for real. Mm-hmm. This is a real thing that's going on. And um, 
if if you're listening out there, you know it's real. Mm -hmm. And if you are one of them that's saying, you know, what you guys talk about today, I see myself doing this. Mm -hmm. You know, just remember that there's hope. You know, you can get off this stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, it's an addiction. And, and, and this addiction, you, you know, you constantly want to be in whatever addiction on the Internet that you are drawn to. You know, you have to remember that, like Tony, uh, you know, Tony, you know, and Pat talk about that. Our body is the temple of God. Mm -hmm. And that's the one thing you have to remember, that our body is the temple of God. And that whatever we put in, mm -hmm. you know, that's what's going to come out. Mm -hmm. And when you have a temple, that, that your body is the temple, mm -hmm. God needs you to treat his temple good. Mm -hmm. You know, treat it right. You know, and... Uh, and whatever you're going through, whatever difficulty you're going through, mm -hmm. uh, and whatever addiction you're going through on the internet, mm -hmm. know that God can help you. Mm -hmm. He can strengthen you. And it said, if you go to him in prayer mm -hmm. and make a supplication known unto God, mm -hmm. he's a good God that he will hear your prayer. So don't feel like you're alone. Don't feel like you're too deep mm -hmm. where God can't help you. Amen. You know, he can help you. You just need to go to him, talk to him, and he can help you. Mm -hmm. You know, God is there with you. You're not alone. And you're not the only one mm -hmm. that feel like you are, you have an addiction. Mm -hmm. And you could have a worse addiction. Mm -hmm. So there is help. And Jesus is always the answer. Amen. And that's why we are here today. We are not psychiatrists. We are not somebody, you know, we're here to tell you about Christ. Yeah. And that your help can come from the Lord who will strengthen all of us. Mm -hmm. And he said, he'll never forsake you and he'll never leave you alone. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. And, you, know, you know what? We're going to pray. Mm -hmm. And we're going to invite you to pray with us right now. Mm -hmm. And you, just like Colin gave us an opportunity there to talk to you about there's hope for you. And if you'd like to call on the Lord and ask for that hope, he'll give it to you if you ask him. So let's pray right now. Lord, be with each hearer. And those that are listening and watching, we ask that you would just reveal your love, your grace, and reveal your salvation that those that, who may not know you, ask, may they ask you to come into their life to be their personal Lord and Savior. And Lord, use each word of this uh, live podcast and be an encouragement to that one heart. And maybe there's one that's struggling and thinking about, I got an addiction, I got to get over it. What can I do? Well... Turn to the Lord and invite Him into your life and ask Him to help you and ask Him to cleanse you and ask Him to take control of your mind. And, and, and only Jesus can do that. And you ask Him to do that. By faith, Lord, we thank You for it and hear each heart and touch each soul and seal it with Your Holy Spirit power. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you for watching. God bless you. We look forward to coming back next Wednesday at 315 to give you an update on our next Youthfluential live podcast. Peace and love. Peace and love. God bless. Amen.